So this video is all about how to make a Jupyter Notebook shortcut and run it like an app. Normally what we used to do is to open Jupyter Notebook from command prompt. Note that this is not an application as Jupyter Notebook doesn't require one since it runs on a web browser, but it will save you from hustling in command prompt. Make sure you have installed the recent version of Python and Jupyter Notebook in your system. Let's just dive into it. Open File Explorer and create a file anywhere you like, but not on desktop. I'm choosing D drive. I'm creating a text file and I'm naming it as Jupyter Notebook. So click on the file and type the commands that I'm writing. Now change the directory to the current user of the system. In my case, it is Lenovo. In your case, it may be different. So how to know the current user of the system? Just, <clears throat> just click Windows plus R and go to command prompt and it will show you the recent user of this system. Now after choosing your username, we have to start the Jupyter Notebook. Now save the file and again save as the file with a dot bat extension in the same directory. Now close the text file. Now dot bat file is actually a Windows batch file which will directly take us to the Jupyter Notebook in the browser. Now just click on it. The Jupyter server is running and it will take us to our Jupyter Notebook page in our default browser. So that means most of our job is done and this will serve your purpose. But what if you want to go ahead an extra mile and want to make it look like an app? So close the Jupyter server and what you have to do right now is copy the .bat file and paste it on the desktop as a shortcut. Make sure you have pasted the file as a shortcut else it will not serve our purpose. Then rename the file as Jupyter. What you have to do right now is to change the icon of this file. So we can't change the shortcut, uh, we can't change the icon of an original batch file, but, but we can change the, uh, the icon of a shortcut. So previously I have downloaded some Jupyter logo from the wave and convert it to dot ico format. So these are the logos that we will be using. So note that this is of dot png file, but we have to use it in dot ico file. So to convert it from PNG or any other image types to .ico file, what I have done is to use a website like this, image.onlineconvert.com. This will take you to the, this will convert the any image file into a .ico format. Microsoft Windows only accepts .ico file as an icon. This is a cool page where you can do most of the stuff. So just go to its properties and go to the change icon option. You can ignore this pop up. It doesn't matter. Note that what you have to do right now is browse it to your recently downloaded icon file. Now go and now choose any of the file that you wanted. Now click OK and then apply and click OK again. See, our app is almost ready. This is actually a shortcut. So most of our work is almost done and we are all set to go. Just double click on it and see the Jupyter Notebook server is running and the Jupyter Notebook page has been open in our default current browser. 
So thank you for watching. I hope it helps.